Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last video, we have seen how to run our Selenium scripts on Selenium Grid and we have created a virtual machine on our local machine. We have created the server and we have created a node onto our local machine. Okay, so if you have more than one machine, you can do on that also. But right now what we will do, we will try to understand how to run our Selenium scripts on Selenium Grid using the cloud. So there are, there are two websites which is most popular website, one is BrowserStack and one is SourceLab which are used as a cloud on which you can run your scripts on different virtual machines. But if your company has any other uh, access to any other cloud also, you can use that also. Okay, so right now what I have done, I have created an account on the browser stack and I will tell you how to run your scripts on the browser stack. Okay, so let me run, uh, let me just open it. So it's already, yeah. So this is the browser stack website. Okay, so you can, you know, just click on free trial and you can just register yourself. I have already registered it and let me sign in into that. Okay. All right, so I have typed my password here. All right, and I'm logged into the browser stack. Okay, it says 27 minutes left. So by default, you get around 90 minutes uh, into one account as a free, and then you have to buy a plan. If you want to buy a plan, you can click on that. There are very nominal charges for using it, but if you're working in a company, your company will buy this plan for you. So maybe they will buy a parallel, you know, uh, like more than one license. All right, but it doesn't matter for now. We are just checking it how to run it onto a cloud and uh, you can use any website browser stack sauce lab or any other website in which you and your company are comfortable. Okay, so before we go that, you know, it is giving us a dashboard to run this, uh, uh, to test it manually onto some browser. So if you see here on the free trial, I'm getting all these versions. I'm getting version 64 for Firefox on IE Microsoft Edge. I am getting 17, 16, 15. So on the free plan, I can run my scripts onto this browser. And if you want to uh, see how it, you know, you want to run it manually, for example, you know, you have a requirement that you run to certain test on Safari but you don't have a Mac machine you can just log into the browser stack go to a particular machine and maybe you can click on this uh, you know any version of Safari if it's given there right now it's free trial it is not giving us so let's say you have to run it on the Firefox so there is a Firefox browser given some particular browser given or maybe your requirement is you know you have to run an IE Edge on the browser on the version number 15 so you can just click on that version and it it will open up the i the win the i15 the edge 15 onto windows 10 okay all right so uh just give me a moment so here you will see that even that you know i am have the, i have opened this website into my chrome there is one more browser open into this which is my edge and you will see all the options of edge here Okay, so this is the way through which you can test your website into Microsoft Edge even if you don't have Edge installed on your computer. So this is a manual way of how to do it, how to, you know, uh, go ahead and open this. So, but we are not using this manual way. We, are, we have to do it through the automated way and we want to run our scripts here. So let me just close everything here. Okay, so see here you will see it has given many uh, products here, right? So you will see here it has given you know live automated so we are into live dashboard okay where we can run manually but there are more applications given here like automated or app automated app live so what we will do we will go to automate here okay so once you go to automate if you see here this is the you know the automated it says that free plan 99 minutes left for that all right and it shows my username and password. If I click on show, it shows my username and access key. Okay. And here you will see here. Okay. If I click on this. All right. It shows me I have run my test twice. So I have already done that once. So it is showing me that I have run my test twice through the automated way. And yesterday I have done that. So it says that one day ago. And if I click on any of the test. Okay, 
let me just see so it will give you all the details where my test has been run all right so it will give you session id it will give the duration how much my test take, uh, took the duration what was the platform which i have given what was the browser i have given all right and what is the username you know i need to see and the input capabilities okay i can you know even click on that what are the capabilities i have given when i am running the test okay and what are the browser capabilities i have given so it will give all the information to me beside that you know it also created a video for me for the test which i have done so if i click on the play button let me click it so if you see that it has automatically created a video of the test which i have done all right and if you come here it will show you the logs also for each and every step it has created a log and it has created a visual logs also so if you see here these are the visual logs it has taken and taken the screenshot of each and everything here okay so so a browser stack is something which is running the scripts running my selenium scripts onto a grid which is on the you know cloud and it is also providing me all the logs and video automatically so most of the companies nowadays i have seen are implementing browser stack and other companies are also implementing the you know sauce labs so they are taking the license of these two websites which are most used nowadays now we will see how to do that in our system how to do that from our computer so what i can do uh let me go to its documentation so i'm going to get help and i'm going to java so because we need to see the code for java and if you come down okay so this is the sample code which has given me so i can select on which os i want to run so let's say i want to run on windows 10 and i want to run i can choose any chrome browser here so let's say i want to run on chrome browser version 60 okay and that version is correct all right so this is the code if you see here it has run you know it has given the capability as chrome and browser 60 like version 60 here so what i will do i will just copy this here so first i will copy this import part which is there so let me open my scripts and open let's create a blank one first okay if i want i can give a same class name which it has given like java sample or i can give any class name here if i give java sample i can copy entire thing from here so let me give the same name for now and we can change it later on okay so it is java sample and i'm clicking on finish all right so what i will do because my package would be different but i can copy the same thing import public java samples and oh wait a minute okay okay i will do a control c and i will do a control v here okay so i have entirely copied the code okay so if you remember for grid we have written the code with ourselves like setting the desired capabilities and setting the browser name and platform and giving the url but this code has already been given to us by the browser stack so we'll use the same so basically it is the same code which we are running on grid but there are some more capabilities it has given for example it has given the username it has given the automated key of my uh, registration and it has given the url that's if you remember we have created url here uh, locally so it has created the url which is https then username then automated key and then here hub cloud.browsetech.com wb hub okay it has given the url here all right then into the main program it has written the capabilities the browser name the version windows resolution all those things okay so if you see here it has you know exactly the same code which we have written it has created a remote web driver with the capability it has opened the google.com and then it is finding an element and then typing browser stack in that and submit all right and getting the title so exactly the same code which we have written here into the grid is same code written into the browser stack okay now what we need to do so i'm just saving it and let's go to our access key so you will see right now okay only two uh there were only two things let me just go back okay there are only two tests here okay but you can give more than like once you run it it will give a third test also so let me do a right click 
and run as Java application. So it is running it. Okay. And when start running, we will go to our browser stack and just see if the test are running. So it says detected dialed browser stack Google. Okay, so let's wait. Let me refresh it. So see here, okay? So here it is running it, right? So before it was there's only one, uh, you know, given build, but now it has, you know, run it on Chrome 60 Windows 10 because we have given that, right? If you want to see it again, just run it again. Run, run as Java application. And let's come here okay see now it is trying to run it okay it is trying to run it and it will also show me you know what are the steps it is going through okay so right now I have not enabled the visual log all right so it has run it and if we see our program it has run completely okay let me just refresh it So it has created a video for that. All right. If you see the visual logs, I'm not getting a visual logs here because why? It says that for enabling the visual logs, I have to set this capability that is browser stack debug equal to true. All right. So if I want to do that, I just need to provide this capability here. Okay. So I will just copy any capability from here and I will just change its key and value. Okay. So this is the key okay and this is the value true so I will just give true here all right now let's try to run it again run run as Java application okay it's running it again let me go to visual logs okay now you will see it's taking the screenshot also okay so this is very helpful you can even download this you know visual logs if you want and you can provide to your management or to your leadership to show what exactly happened when you have uh, you know given this okay we can see a raw logs also so okay I have to enable the pop-up for the raw logs all right so these are the raw logs also which you can see okay so this is the way you can set certain capabilities and if you're not sure what are the capabilities you can just go here and you know you can you can just click on this reference on reference there's selenium capabilities browser and device other things so you can just click on selenium capabilities okay and here it gives you the selenium capability generator okay so different capabilities which you can give if you want to give a build name you can give here it will tell you what is the capability if you want to give like a name so let me give it as test one all right so here you can you know give these kinds of capability and you can generate your own capability from this window all right so you will see as soon as i have written test one it has given me this capability so you can just copy this capability or whatever you want like a project name build name test name test configuration okay all those things you can set this capability and you can copy that capability into your java code all right so this is the way you can run your scripts on browser stack and so that you don't have to set up your grid locally on you know you don't have to set up this one onto your machine you can turn it onto the cloud all right so if you like this video please let me know and please share it with your friends also so that they can also get benefited and uh, uh, please hit on the like button uh, if you really think it helped you a bit all right Thank you so much for watching.